What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to test out a few things having to do with the Conform Objects add-on by Mark Kingsnorth. If you remember this is a great add-on for basically conforming objects to other shapes in Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you remember Conform Object is basically an add-on for Blender designed to wrap objects onto other objects. So um, basically what it does is it takes those objects and it creates a grid and then it kind of like wraps the object on top of the other object. And so right now this add-on is currently on sale as a part of the Blender Market sale. So you can check that out on this page. And so we're using the decoration plaster model from Sketchfab as one of the examples in here. Um, I will link to this in the notes down below if you wanna download it and try it out. But basically what we've done is we've brought it in and I've oriented it along with this object's face, right? So I've got it set up specifically right above the object right now. So it's directly kind of aligned. And what we wanna do is we wanna make it conform to this object. So we want to basically wrap it along this surface. So the way that works is when you have conform object installed, there's a little menu on the right hand side of the page, or you can select the object that you want to conform, then do a shift click um, in order to set this up. And then you can right click and there's a conform object. So there's either the conform object right here or the conform object up here. But we just want to right click and do a conform object. And so let's take a look at this real quick because it's actually doing a really good job of bending this along the surface. So what it's doing is it's basically creating a grid. So a deformation grid down here. And you can show or hide the grid um, by checking this little box right here. But this is basically going to show you the way that this is going to deform the object. And so if we take a look at this, what this is doing is this is basically using a gradient to affect how far along this object the deformation is actually happening, right? So if you go to the constant, what this is going to do is it's going to deform the entire object in here so that it's got kind of like a curved surface on top of this, right? Um, if you were to switch it to linear, what that's going to do is you can see how the bottom is getting deformed along here. Notice how the offset, by the way, is setting how far onto or off of this object this is. You can use the offset in order to adjust that, but you can use the gradient effect in here to adjust if this object actually gets bent along the object right here, or if it kind of stays flat along the top and then gets conformed on the bottom. So you can use this to create different kinds of shapes in here by doing that. And so one thing I wanna note about this, and again, that offset is gonna be important because that's gonna set how close to the surface this is. So if I set the offset too far, right, it's going to be all the way off the surface. And so I do want to note that amount of detail in your object that's being conformed is going to be really important. So if you look at this object right here, right, it has a ton of geometric detail in here. What that means is that means that your object's going to conform really easily. Let's say that we were to do something different. So let's say we were to create, let's go with a UV sphere over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate that. 90 degrees, but let's say, so let's say we were to create a more simple object. So let's say we were to create a cube like this, right? So I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's align that with the center of our sphere. And then we'll just scale it along the X axis right here. So very simple shape, right? Um, but notice how right now, if I was to take conform object and try to conform this to the sphere, and let's go ahead and make sure we've applied our rotation and our scale. But let's say we were to try to conform this across the sphere right now, if we were to do this, so notice how right now, if we were to uncheck that gradient effect, what we're going to get is we're going to get an object that doesn't actually follow along with the sphere on the top. And so the reason for that is because there's not enough geometric detail in this object in order for that to work, right? Because basically what this is doing is this is taking this object and it's just kind of uh it's it's basically using this grid in order to split it up but there's no geometry in here right there's no detail so what we're going to do is we're going to undo conforming this object i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to move this up a little bit but now let's say we're going to do the same thing but we we're going to tab into edit mode do a control a and let's just subdivide this a few times so we'll call it 10 just for the sake of this tutorial um that's probably that probably ought to be fine. So what we want to do is we want to select this object and this object and then click on conform. We'll notice how now 
with all the extra geometry that's in here, this conforms really nicely. So it's really important to have that detailed geometry in here in order to make this work. Um, another thing to note is this does get a little bit wonky if you move it like off to the side. So notice how if I move it on the X location right here, it doesn't necessarily pick up on the object once you get beyond the bounds of the object. You just start getting this really weird result. So this is something that's really only gonna work if you actually conform it with a face that's smaller than itself. So if you were to look down, for example, let's say we were to scale this along this axis, as soon as we get beyond a certain point, so usually about like right here, um, things just stop working. So do be aware that that is a little bit of a limiting factor. Um, it shouldn't be a huge deal, but just be aware that that's a thing. And so one of the examples that I've seen on the actual um, conform object uh, page is bending an object along a face model, right? So this is a face model that I've downloaded from Sketchfab. So you can download this to follow along. It's the Zofrac model and you can download it and so you can download this and follow along. It's got some great geometry in here, so it's not like super heavy. Um, so they've done a pretty good job with this, but what I wanted to do is take something and kind of bend it along the forehead like they did in the example. So let's just take this same shape and then just do a duplicate right here and move it over. And we'll go ahead and align it with this object like this. So we're gonna take this shape and bend it along this surface. Well, what you're gonna notice is if you try to conform this right now, it's gonna give you an error saying the bottom of the source object is not pointing towards the target object. I have not been able to figure out what drives that, but the way you can fix it is you can just take these two objects or these objects right here and you can rotate them like this. So 90 degrees. And then if we move this down, and do a conform object, it's going to work. So one thing to note about this though, is you probably do wanna make sure that you apply your rotation and scale again. But if we select these, conform object, conform object, then it's gonna conform it to this shape. And notice how it's off of this surface right now. And the reason it's off of the surface is because of the offset. Now we could check the gradient effect box, but that's not really gonna do what we want. We just wanna adjust this offset down like this. So. What that's gonna do is that's gonna move this down so that it's actually along the surface of the face right here. And so this is conforming across this surface nicely. And the kind of odd thing about this that again, I haven't been able to figure out is once you've conformed it, then you can rotate it 90 degrees and it's going to fit along your surface nicely like this. By the way, if you have the grid turned on, you can just hide that grid just by selecting it and tapping the H key. So you can definitely use this in order to place objects on things like this. You could also scale it up or down. Notice how at that certain point, again, where it gets bigger than the face, um, then it's gonna start giving you that weird result, but you can definitely move this along that object. You can move it up and down. Notice how when you do that, it is maintaining that result, so you could use it to place this across like the center of the face or really whatever you wanted to do, and this is maintaining that in here. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this add-on if you've tried it. Just love having that conversation with you guys. I will link to another tutorial about this add-on on this page as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.